Welcome to my channel. This is another daily news clips. But before we get into that, I have to thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. I'm over 5,000 subscribers now. It blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. And thank you for the comments. I so enjoy the interactions that we have in the comments. Thank you very much. The J6 insurrection story continues to collapse under the weight of evidence that is coming out. Uh, I've told you about the videos that have been released that have exonerated people and will probably get people out of jail. And now, uh, <clears throat> This is an amazing story about a woman named Cassidy Hutchinson, who was a star witness for the J6 committee, who told a story that, <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Trump was in his car demanding that he be taken to the uh, Capitol building. And she described Trump as being irate. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president. Take me to the Capitol now. To which the Secret Service agent responded, Sir, we have to go back to the West Wing. And the president reached up towards the front of the vehicle and grabbed the steering wheel. The Secret Service agent grabbed his arm and said, Sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. <laughs> she said that he then lunged toward the Secret Service agent. Now, this was all juicy news for the J6 committee, but turns out it's all a lie. And what they've done is they've hidden all of the documents that show that it's a lie. <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, just unbelievable that they can do this. And in a second news item, uh, Trump's driver, who was actually in the car at the time, has refuted her testimony now. So uh, it's amazing to me that it took four years for this to happen, but finally the, the truth is coming out and the story is being revealed that the narrative that they had for the J6 insurrection was a complete absolute fabrication. They put it together with baling yarn and sticks and duct tape and tried to make it look like it was one thing when it was something else entirely. And of course, I will put all these links in the description for you, just as I always do. Uh, the third story is a Republican uh, Secretary of State in Mississippi has warned that the Biden, a Biden executive order allows Im illegal immigrants and felons to vote, and the Secretaries of State are powerless to stop it. That's an interesting article. Uh, a judge has blocked the Biden administration from illegally diverting money from the border wall. So I guess what they'll do is they'll just let the funds sit there and they'll not spend them. But they were going to they were going to use that money for other purposes. And the judge said, no, the federal law says you have to use it for that. So that's what you have to use it for. <laughs> oh, boy. And the last item I have is, you may recall uh, a sports magazine, uh, online magazine named Deadspin, that oh, these are amazing. embarrassed. Wow. wow. That's good. Let me get wow, this. these are good. That's delicious. What if I told you that you All can... Right, there we All right, go. All right, a right... Uh, that embarrassed a Kansas City Chiefs uh, fan who was wearing an Indian headdress and um, Indian regalia at a game and they 
they described him as a racist and a Native American hater and so forth and so on. And <laughs> it turns out that the boy is of Native American heritage and his uncle is actually um, a high muckety-muck in one of the tribes in California. So that whole thing blew up in their face. Well, Deadspin has been sold and all of its... Uh, all of its staff have been fired by the new owners. And they say that they're going to take their magazine in a different direction. So I just thought I'd play you a little bit of this clip talking about that situation. All right, a writer at the sports news website you never knew existed called Deadspin uh, has <laughs> faced backlash on social media over a, I would say, a disgusting attempt to sick an outrage mob on a young child who was just excited to go to his, I assume, his favorite team's football game uh, and was wearing face paint with the colors of his favorite football team. So this is the Kansas City Chiefs and this article by... Karen Phillips accused this fan of wearing blackface. So as you can see from this picture here, if you guys are watching, those are who are on audio podcasts, it's this cute little boy who is wearing a headdress with the, uh, the black, yeah, there it is, the black face, which is all that he showed in this article. Now, what he didn't show you, which I personally don't think matters much, but what he didn't show you was that he actually had the black on one side and the red on the other, of course, depicting his team's colors because he's just dressing up for his team's game. He's excited to go. Look at that little boy's, you can see it in his eyes. He's like, there's nothing greater than a little boy at you know a sports event that they're excited to be at. He's like, yes, I'm here. This is my team. I've got the jersey on. I've got the necklace on. I've got this cool headdress. I painted my face. I'm ready to watch my team. And then, of course, you have a garbage human being who writes a fake story about you, accusing you of uh, putting on blackface. Now, for the record, I would love to get uh, your thoughts on this gentleman, but for the record, I actually don't care if his entire face was painted black. I don't care. It's not black. He's clearly dressing up as a Kansas City chief. Exactly. That's what he's dressing up as. It does, but wearing black face paint does not make him wear blackface. I don't care what, I don't care if he's painted purple, red, blue, black, whatever. He's dressing up to be a part of it. So I don't really care. It's not offensive. If you have to pretend like it's offensive, then that's more of a problem on you than it is on this little boy or his parents or anyone else. But um, this Karen Phillips uh, tried very, very hard to demonize this young white boy, I guess because he's white. And hold on, I want to check to make sure, because he did pin a tweet in his profile on Twitter, of course, X, formerly known as Twitter. He did pin a tweet clarifying for those who are wondering how he pronounces his name. What is that? Karen Phillips. Mm, I don't know. Seems a whole lot like a Karen to me. <laughs> I'm offended. Like this kid, this kid probably has a manifesto and they should probably search his internet history and see what he's saying on social media because I believe he's completely. <laughs> I'll let you watch the rest of it yourself, but it, it's funny to me that this magazine attacked this young man and they ended up killing themselves because they're now completely dead. So that's the news for the day. As always, I appreciate you coming to my website and I pray for you every day. I pray that you will live an abundant life that you'll be healthy, that you'll live a long time, and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you'll make your request known to God. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam Era Vet, out.